Airplane windows are always round, but why? There's a surprisingly tragic reason behind this design choice, and it completely changed how we build planes today. Let's explore the science, the history, and the life or death consequences of window shaped in the skies. In the early days of air travel, airplane windows were square. Take the de Havilland Comet, for example, the world's first commercial jetliner in the 1950s. Sleek, pressurized, and fast. But just two years after its debut, multiple comets exploded midair. Investigators were baffled. What caused these high-tech marbles to fall apart in flight? The answer was square windows. When aircraft are pressurized at altitude, the cabin expands slightly outward. Any shape co sharp corners, like on a square window, become a stress concentration point. The metal fatigued around these corners and eventually cracked. That crack turned into a tear and then explosive decompression. A round shape distributes stress evenly. There are no corners where tension can build up. The result is a far safer window for pressurized environments. Modern airplane windows are actually not fully round. They are rounded rectangles, also called oval or racetrack shape. This balances safety with better viewing angles and aesthetics. Engineers also use multiple panes of acrylic or polycarbonate, usually three layers, to handle pressure differentials. That tiny hole in the inner pane? That's the breather hole, which allows pressure between panes to equalize and prevents fogging. So yes, that little hole is supposed to be there. It's actually saving your life in the background. Each pane is tested to withstand extreme pressure, often up to twice the cabin pressure at cruising altitude. The window frame is made from strong aluminum alloys and sealed into the fuselage with multiple redundancies. Modern windows also get a UV coating, and in some planes, electrochromic tinting lets you darken the windows with a button. No more plastic shade. To maintain breathable pressure, planes use air taken from the engines. It's called bleed air, which is cooled and pumped into the cabin. The cabin is slightly pressurized, usually to the equivalent of 6,000 to 8,000 feet above sea level. This creates a pressure difference between inside and outside, and that's where the windows come in. They're one of the only barriers standing between you and the stratosphere. That's why their design matters. The average airplane window is only about 10 inches tall. The strongest part isn't actually the pane, it's the frame around the window. Boeing tested some window material with explosive decompression chambers. Most window shades must be open for takeoff and landing, not for aesthetics, but so your eyes are adjusted in case of emergency. And some new airplane designs, like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, have the largest windows ever on a commercial aircraft. They are 65% bigger than traditional ones. And if you're wondering why there's no window in some rows, it's usually due to structural reinforcements behind that section of fuselage. Today, every single commercial aircraft from budget jets to private Gulf Streams uses round windows. If you found this fascinating, make sure to subscribe right here on Learning and Stuff.